Hi everybody, I'm Joanne Diaz. I'm an esthetician in South Florida and I'm going to be competing in the open medical category in Skin Games for 2018. This is my local newspaper and I'm going to be competing with the assistance of Esthetician Connection and Circadia Skin Care. I want to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about what fascinates me in skin care. I have to admit, I have an advantage in this competition. I'm a dinosaur. I've been around long enough that I've seen a little bit of everything and what really challenges my skills is working with scars. If you haven't worked with these sort of defects, let me tell you a little bit about the broad differences between them. Typically scars are categorized as either atropic and that means they're depressed. There's a loss of collagen um, and it gives it a concave appearance. And these are typically boxcar scars and acne, um, some surgical sites. Uh, and then on the other hand, you have hypertrophic scars. These are scars that are raised. There's an excess of collagen that's been built up there as the body's response to an injury, and they are raised. They have a rope-like appearance. They may have some banding to them, some differences in coloration, but um, these are typically burn scars or keloids. Now, if you haven't worked with these types of defects, um, we now have the tools and products to really make a huge difference in someone's life and help to normalize this area so that they're less noticeable. Uh, so how do we approach this in the treatment room? Well, first of all, it's important that you wait until the abnormality is fully healed and fully matured. How do we know? Uh, typically for hypertrophic scars, they'll have a white appearance or a very, very light appearance. That's because you've got all that collagen and keratin packed into that area. Um, higher Fitzpatrick's may show some pigmentation issues that come along with that. And with that being said, let me introduce Norma. This is my test subject and she has a large hypertropic scar with pigmentation that she got as a child in her native El Salvador. It's fully mature, it's ready for us to uh, work on and we're going to approach it with a combination of tools and modalities and products to get her the best result. And Norma never really wanted to wear sleeveless clothing because oh, she was very self-conscious about this. So we're gonna to try to give her a better quality of life. Over the next eight weeks, we're gonna be using a multi-level approach to improve the appearance of this scar. We'll use some tyrosinase inhibitors and some melanin suppressants, lots and lots of home care, and then we'll do a little microneedling and also maybe some dry needling with a tattoo machine that I'm certified to use over the margins to try to improve the outside area. So um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and um, you're watching a submission in the open medical category for Skin Games 2018. I'm Joanne Diaz. See you next time.